I'm Michael Lance, and I'm the CEO of Axido Broadband. So we're a uh, provider of applications for uh, interactive TV, specifically IPTV and connected TV. I'm from Europe, and I'm a, one of the few people here from Europe, and I, I find it kind of in, uh, exciting to see the, um, uh, this type of event, which I haven't really seen in Europe so far, which is sort of where you have the, uh, the, the broadcast of the network, you have the MSOs, and you have the vendors in one, one gathering trying to you know, discuss about the new potential of, of uh, the industry and the, the new applications and the new fe features. And I find that sort of a very refreshing discuss, discussion compared to what I'm used to. Obviously, the main difference between Europe and, and the US is the um, uh, role of the cable operators, whereas the US is a very pay TV cable centric market, whereas Europe is much more free to air and uh, terrestrial and, and so on. So that's the, the main difference. So that sort of affects everything in terms of <coughs> the activity from, from the cable operators in rolling out new platforms, the activity of them sort of cooperating in new, new um, uh, platform initiatives like Canoe and so on. We don't see that at all in, in Europe. We see a much more fragmentation. There are no really, really big guys. I mean, we have a few like Sky and so on, but, but essentially it's much more fragmented. So everyone needs to survive on a much smaller, um, smaller amount of, of subscribers. In addition, the, the telcos in Europe are much more aggressive than the telcos in the US. So, so we see a lot more activity on the IPTV side, which is of course exciting from our perspective. This year it's uh, obviously the year of the connected TV. We've seen a lot of the uh, initiatives that are actually rolling out in volumes from just before the uh, holiday season and, and uh, going forward. There are a new, number of new applications, application platforms coming up. So that's, that's one of the things that I'm really excited about. And the, the other thing, it's, it's, it's so amazing that, that people talk a lot about the uh, standardizations, about application platforms and so on, but every trade show and every conference that I go to, I find new platforms coming up. Yeah. Always new platforms despite all the uh, efforts of standard, uh, standardization. I'm very fond of the new Samsung application platform, uh, the Samsung Apps platform. Samsung is the, the uh, biggest um, TV manufacturers globally. Uh, and it's always exciting to see that, that one of those big guys have actually managed to get it right. Uh, and they have an, a, a fantastic platform, it's easy to work with, and they, they're, they're good guys. And the, the next generation of, of uh, features they have in that platform is very promising. The main issue for us as, a, as an application developer for, for IPTV and connected TV has been the market size. The number of eyeballs that actually can access the applications. We need, we need a success story. We need the, the iPhone of the TV industry. We need something that will get us up to you know, 20, 30 million devices on, on one platform, which is still as easy to deploy as, uh, you know, as, as the iPhone, for example. We need that sort of platform to be able to, to innovate. Uh, we haven't seen that so far. I mean, we have seen a number of initiatives that show promise, but at the end of the day, it's sort of a, there is a new generation, there is a new standard, and you have all the legacy platforms and so on. So that's, that's what we really want to see. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe that will happen. Uh, so in our perspective, what we will do is, 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 is instead to make sure that we can deliver in a very cost-efficient way applications for all the different platforms in the market.